Good morning, Mr. Wade. Good morning, Mr. Lupin. Good morning, Mr. Tilson. How's your calf? Good morning, Miss Dora. Good morning, teacher. The usual? Sure. Four donuts and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Don't you ever want anything else for breakfast, Andy? Uh -uh. Uh, not so long as they're your donuts. Flatter. I think you like the painting compliment. I do. <laughs> No, you'd make a fine wife for some man. Do you think so? Oh, sure. I'm sure you would. Did you ever think of uh, getting married? Well, yes. Uh, you have, huh? Oh, yes. But the right man never asked me. You didn't, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm late for school. The first time in 20 years. Hurry, hurry, Andy. Oh. Hurry. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Andy. Goodbye. Oh. 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 Andy, dear, are you hurt? Uh, no, that's nothing for a young fella like me. By way of apology, we'll have the music lesson first. Ah! <laughs> what is it, Shirley? Please, teacher, what general was five letters and his name was buried in Grant's tomb? What general with five letters and his name is buried in Grant's tomb? C. Lee, uh, C. Jackson, no, uh, Pershing, still hale and hearty. Uh, <laughs> Now, first, we'll take the roll call. Hiram Abbott. Joshua Finch. Tom and Henry Hemingway. Abram Stone. He stayed home. Somebody broke his saxophone. William, John, and Robert Blunt. Silas Post. Gordon Cole. Briar Pratt. Daniel Moe. Baron Spree. Now for a little long exercise. Ah, 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 ah. Now hold that note until I tell you to stop. Uh, <laughs> What is it, Dora? What is it? What's happened? Andy, at 
last I found a way to make a perfect donut. What? Better even than the ones you have been making? Take one. How do you like it? Dora, there never was a donut like that. Of course there wasn't. But look, watch me duck it in the coffee. My goodness. Let me dunk one. <laughs> oh, and oh. Excuse me. Dora, if we could only advertise those on the radio, you'd make a fortune. Yes, but Think about the cost and how about the actors? I never thought of that. Goodness, I forgot to stop them. You see, I left them at... Dora, there's our actors. There's our entertainment. You're going to be famous from coast to coast. Andy. <laughs> children. Children, children. We're all partners in Miss Dora's bakery in our street. Right. Maybe we can have some donuts, Mr. Wilson. I sure do. Come on, come on in. Hey. All right, boys. Help yourself. That's it. I'll read your slogan. Dollars don't sing donuts, stay full. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Don't forget to tune in on us tomorrow night at 6 30. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there anything on your mind? Uh, well, <clears throat> they're, uh, <clears throat> they're all kissing goodbye. Oh. 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 Continuing the Cackleberry Farm program where hens are happy, Miss Gill will now render a foul song <laughs> as a chicken would sing it. Miss Gill. <laughs> hasn't showed up yet. What'll I do? Well, keep her cackling till I see if I can locate you. <laughs> if she cackles another number, she'll lay an egg. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Are you Mr. Wilson? Uh, sure, sure, that's me. It's my program. Well, hurry, hurry. You're on the air next. Hurry up. <laughs> we're on next. No, we're on next. Now, come on, now, stick together. Uh, Oh, hey, come on, come on. 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 Come
Uh, the noise you heard, folks, uh, wasn't a storm. It was Mr. Wilson arranging his music. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilson, it's yours. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this program is to introduce Doris Dunking Donuts. They float. Remember the name, folks. They are baked by little Dora herself. Are you listening, Dora? Yes, Andy. I'm listening. Uh, uh, Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. They are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy could be as fine and dandy. As Dora's Dunking Donuts, you'll be nuts about her donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night, and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know, they float. Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night and still they won't stink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know they float. That was very well played. Very well played. Now, I want three boys to do a dance. You better do it, uh, Jimmy, and Bill, and Richard. Teacher, teacher, funny and old with ivory hair and the heart of gold. Need <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> more trouble. <laughs> Want to ruin the program? Naughty. Jimmy. Uh, uh, Jimmy. Next thing in the program, ladies and gentlemen, is the best dancing act you have ever seen. Take it easy, boys. There's nothing, there's nothing to it. Mr. Wilson, I'm not giving the compliments, but you have a splendid act. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that, because you know Miss Dora sunk her last dollar in this program. You have nothing to worry about whatsoever. Oh, thanks a lot. An awful lot. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Miss Dora. Dora, this is Andy. Uh, you listening to the program? Yes, Andy. It sounds splendid. manager just told me what a great sensation. Take your hands out of me, you big scissor, Bill. No radio manager can tell me where to head in at. <laughs> Andy, Andy, what's wrong? No, no, there's nothing wrong. My things couldn't be better. We're a sensation. That's all there is to it. Uh, oh, my, oh, my, oh. give you the drama of Little Red Riding Hood, playing the three parts myself of the little girl, the grandmother, and the wolf. 
And the bear? And the bear. Uh, there is no bear, ladies and gentlemen. Sure. Uh, uh, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Mr. Wilson! What is it? What? You put on the wool pants. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little mistake. Uh, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She was going to visit her grandmother in the middle of the forest. <coughs> the trees were chirping to the bear. The, the chirps, the... Uh, the grandmother was sound asleep in bed. There's a knock at the door and the grandmother wakes up. Grandmother wakes up, Shirley, will you please? Get away from here, will you please? Uh, naturally, the grandmother thinks it is Little Red Riding Hood, but it isn't. <laughs> Who is it? It's the great big hungry wolf. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Mind your business. Well, where's the wolf? Where? Who's got the wolf? The wolf! Wherever that woman is, there's always trouble. There certainly is. Quiet! Well, well, get out of here. here. I'm going home. Listen, uh, we're in the middle of the program. Oh, I don't care. Come on, no problems of my own. I'm trying to be trusted every day. I don't know. I'll have you understand why. I'll have you understand why. I'll have you Will you get out of here? Get out. What are you? Get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, this program will continue just a moment. I'll find the old man. There's only a minute. That's enough. I've had enough of it. Be careful, don't you? Cheer up, Andy. You did your best. Oh, sure, but I just wasted all Miss Dora's money for nothing. You know, Miss Dora, I had no idea the program was such a success till after I'd thrown Mr. Wilson out. Success? Why, we're simply swamped with orders. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but to make amends, I want to offer Mr. Wilson and your donut program free time for a month. Will you sign here, please, in the bottom line? I'm sorry. I'll see you on the air Friday at 2 o'clock. Well, sure. And I was a success? Why, that comedy battle you staged was a riot. Comedy battle? Yes. How did you ever come to think of it, Andy? It just happened. Ha, 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 ha. 